Well, hello, everybody, and welcome. Hey, he's not doing the thing. Do the thing. <laughs> not the dance thing. This one. <laughs> hello, everybody. <laughs> uh yeah okay so um hello and welcome to a wonderful episode of astroneer with your host uh mr joker that is me uh i um got a kind of a weird outfit going on so come with me let me show you something i love these emotes i'm a little confused all right yeah just do your dance for a second um so I wanted to, it's been a while since I've posted anything with Astroneer and I recently posted a video uh, about a completely different game and I, I felt like that was a warm up of me getting back into YouTube. So here we are. Uh, I've been streaming this game a lot lately and uh, I'm proud to say that I've, I've done something that I'm actually really excited about that I want to show you. Uh, for starters, I should explain what we're doing in this giant crater. Now, I found this crater a little bit ago. I'm on a Novus, on Novus, and uh, I've got my, my, the big boy, as I like to call him. He's got uh, a medium-sized battery, uh, three R uh, RTGs, um, the winch, just in case, I guess, uh, level three drill, a paver, and eight soil canisters. And we're going to go, uh, this is the main reason uh, we're here is that I wanted to show you something that I made. Uh, let's top those off, shall we? Uh, let's turn these all off. Uh, let's see. Disable, disable, disable. I have been messing with automation and I am uh, very excited to show you something that I've made. Now, a lot of people have been seeing this on my streams. And uh, I think uh, we need a little bit more. Grab all this. All of this. I really want this to be completely. Wait, is that not completely full? Weird. I think that it was done. Um, so I've been doing a lot of automation. I've been playing with making sure that here's that green light that I like so much making sure that everything is uh, basically I could just pull it. you'll see you'll see I don't want to spoil it I don't want to spoil it for you so we're in this giant crater I drive around in circles collecting all the soil and it works out really really well so we're gonna drive back I've I've gotten lost trying to I made a little line over there so that I knew where to go um, and we got to get, oh, oh crap, we need to get back up, which means all the soil I just grabbed. There go. All right. So, um, I spent a lot of time working with the automation and I haven't quite figured out the, uh, different repeaters and the buttons and, and all those things. I haven't figured out any of that yet, but. Uh, I'm hoping that by putting this on YouTube, you guys can help me and uh, give me some, some tips and tricks. I need to fix this really bad. Uh, be daisy. Boom. And uh, hopefully we can get that working a little bit more efficiently. But right now, I'm really excited to show you uh, what I've done. So the base is right over this hill here. Uh, I have paved out a lot of area and placed is this the U-turn? No, the U-turn is over here. I have to make a U-turn here somewhere. This is not it. Uh, here. Boom. Got it. I need to put, I need to repave some of this groundwork so that I know exactly where I'm going because I've gotten lost a couple times. Not sure where I need to go. Okay, here we go. This is the, the most exciting part. For me. This is this is what I was waiting for. Okay, here we go. Uh, also, the Halloween update is awesome. Uh, as you can tell, I'm already wearing the hat and got the face mask and we've got some pumpkins here. Ta-da! Those are my royal horns. 
pull in here. Mark it right there between the two extension lines, right? And off it goes. The only thing that I gotta do is turn back. I gotta turn oh, this one, this one right here, on and off every time, and I don't know why. Um, these oh, can be turned off. They shouldn't. Oh, I see what's going on. I didn't turn these back on. That, 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 that. That, that usually i leave them on but here we go okay so th here's what's going on um first off i pull in these empty ones fill get launched onto these canisters those ones then get pulled off and put here those ones then get placed on all four of these okay each one making something different we've got uh your compound your resin graphite and at the very end, we've got uh, ammonia, okay? Now, all of those will get stacked onto these. When these fill up, they won't pull anymore, see? That one's done. Compound is done, so is resin. This one's gonna be going for a while. Then we've got the ammonia. The ammonia is constantly on output. Um, and luckily, this one will still reach up here and put it in, in that one. The ammonia is attached to one platform. And because of that, I'm able to use the atmosphere condenser that makes hydrogen. And uh, oh, this is already full. No, let's put that out. I need I need two for me. Put that back to that. And it just keeps automatically going. So I will never have to worry about making it myself. It just automatically goes and fills up. This here, it's hydrogen, is just an extra storage place for it. We'll just disable the output and fill it back up, and it'll be good to go. Easy peasy. Now, I took this idea, and I went a little bit bigger with it. <laughs> uh, we have aluminum, copper, iron, titanium, and zinc, all on one platform. But that's nothing. That's just, those are just placeholders. The big... The big thing here is that we've got organic that automatically goes and burns itself off and goes into the carbon, which then, okay, stay with me here. When this is done, this arm here grabs the carbon and puts it over here. This carbon then goes on to this chemistry lab along with the iron that I have to manually, I, I fill this, these, this one up and bring it over. The iron with the carbon goes on here that makes steel. I also have in the very back here, I have, uh, what is that? I think it's argon. I think that's what's needed. So we've got argon that gets put over here as well. Once that steel is that done being made, that steel goes over to this thing. And this gets filled up with steel. And I'll get to that in a second. Over here, we've got a double combo. We've got... Uh, graphene being made and we've got a uh, titanium alloy being made at the same time this whole thing here can be pulled off oops hold on pull your jets there buddy this thing can be pulled off and i can go and take care of each one being refilled so titanium and graphite got hydrazine and we've got nitrogen all on that one thing that all get used in all of this okay so this pops out the this gets filled with graphene from this and goes into this and so i have graphene if i need it right here and we've got the titanium alloy that gets made from this one it gets stored in that we've got an arm back here that pulls and puts uh where's that helium puts helium on this and we've got the titanium alloy from this chest here going over to here so I can grab my titanium alloy when I need it, the steel when I need it. This bad boy here, nano carbon alloy. All of that gets made right here. Don't have to worry about any of it. It's all disconnected because it drains a lot of power and I'm still working on fixing that, but boom, there it goes. All on, all working. The only big issue is making sure that nothing gets emptied. 
once everything all of these are filled they'll stop filling then these will get filled then then i can go in and actually manually start filling up this iron which isn't too bad because i've got an extractor down below and i actually would like to turn that on um so if we come over this way this is just gonna keep going i love it i've dug a hole straight down 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 there's our extractor right there and we're already at 23 look at that almost completed uh meanwhile all the way over here, this way uh, this is something i've put a lot of time into and i'm just so proud of it um we've got this one that's all obviously already filled uh this is our laterite for some aluminum whenever we need that and then down here is our quartz should also yep that one's also filled and last but not least we have another extra thing of ammonia to help try to fill that thing up because i'm always using the hydrogen everywhere i go and that's up there uh all of this is done uh using as much power as i can possibly muster which is right here uh which comes out to on glitter uh it looks like 66 right now that's because at the very top the solar panels aren't going um i am going to change some of this cabling because i feel like it's kind of limited right now to how much power can go in uh, i do have power going under i got a plug going under and over because i don't like the look of it and um you'll notice that i've got my lines going underneath as well so that i get a nice clean look on the ground which i'll show you here no not there not there not there just kidding it's over oh there's a hole around there somewhere maybe it's not maybe i don't have one maybe i covered them all up that's weird oh, there's one here oh yeah here it is right here Boop. <laughs> there we go there's the grid there's the grid we've got our power lines going underneath our oxygen lines uh and then over here is where i completed if you're still looking to finish that halloween stuff here's my setup for that um the trickiest part is making sure that when you need to get when you need to use the mutant elegant spew flowers which can only be found on the surface, not underground, mind you, but on the surface with the spooky squash, because you need those two. two. Two spooky squash here will make one type, but you need the other one. And to be able to do that, as well as another type as well, which I have right here, this mutant volatile atticus, those ones may, with the spooky squash make two different types. And... If you have two of these, it'll make something different. So to do that, I've got this guy here that barely reaches it. As you can see, it just barely touches the platform. So it'll get that one spot on that side. I've got two batteries to fill in the spot. It could be anything that won't go in here. It could be anything. It doesn't matter as long as it's a space holder. And then I've got this one barely touching the other side. What happens? is i'll group up all of these seeds all right like this nice and cozy i'll make sure that my i don't have boost wide or drill mod three and once these grow i just barely tap a drill on this to remove just some of the ground so they explode and pop right here this arm grabs all of the spooky squash puts it here uh, because that's what i've assigned it to and these ones will grab the seeds. Now I've got plenty of seeds, so it's not even a big deal. So I could even replace one of these and grab this. I've built this to hopefully angle everything into a nice little pile here. Sometimes it doesn't work and you'll have to get some of the covers. But after you dig out some, then you just flatten it out and you're good to go. Uh, I've also got a little bit of a roof so they don't explode too far and pop all the way out. Uh, but it automatically goes, fills up. And this arm will grab the, uh, the biofuel, pop it into this thing, and, uh, and then we launch it off into space and we're good to go. It's really quite 
a feat. Uh, I am so excited about it. The one thing that I would love is that when one of these canisters is empty, the whole thing shuts down. That's, that's what I would love. Um, I just don't know how to do that. I tried using a power switch, but the power switch limits the amount of power really, really bad. And this takes up a lot of juice. Um, we do have a lot of juice flowing everywhere in here. Um, this isn't even getting any power right now, which is really weird because this should... Oh. oh. Oh, that's interesting. Oh. It opened up when I got close. All right, cool. All right. I thought it was... Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, that's it. That's what I want to show you. A couple things that I want to do is add another centrifuge over here just to add more organic so that it is 100% filled all the time. Uh, otherwise, we're super good. Uh, I've got a glass quartz machine over here uh, that works really well. And I think I've got extra juice here. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I'm just really stoked. I, I was just really proud of this and I want to show you guys. And I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you have any advice, any ideas or tips, uh, let me know uh, in the comments below. Also, um, I, I do stream this on occasion. Um, I've been sticking to one genre, uh, a lot of, uh, survival and, uh, survival and, uh, and creative open world kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, feel free to stop by the, the stream and, uh, I look forward to seeing you guys. Uh, I hope you're all safe and I hope you're all being healthy and conscientious and nice to each other. Uh, the world needs more nice people. Okay. Have a good one. Bye.